Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to install and set up the SendGrid Stats plugin. This is a new plugin that I just published um, and I've given you a handful of different data calls to retrieve um, statistics for any emails that you send from your bubble application. So uh, you can obviously do this with any SendGrid account that you might have because um, the API key that you use can be for, for any SendGrid account, but uh, my goal here was really to provide you with an easy way to retrieve stats from the emails that you're sending from your application. So the API key that uh, you'll most likely be using is the one that you've got set up in your settings and then your domain and email section. So I've got mine blurred out here, but um, if you copy this API key um, that you've got set up here, so again, this is with an application that's already set up with SendGrid, so you're sending emails from your custom domain, and then go back to the plugin settings. The plugin is called SendGrid Stats, and to enter the API key, you'll want to include the word bearer like this with a space and then paste in your key there. So bearer, space, and then your API key. All right, so that will connect it to your SendGrid account. Now let's look at the different calls that you have available to you here. Um, the first one is global statistics. This gives you overall counts on um, how many emails were delivered, how many were clicked, how many unique clicks there were, you know, versus total clicks in general, um, how many bounces, how, like how many emails were bounced. You have a, a, a ton of different um, values that you're gonna get back, actually. I'm gonna show you, you're gonna see what all of your options are. And then there are a couple more advanced um, statistics where you can, uh, like really fine tune how you want to view these stats. So I have a separate call for each of them. Uh, you can grab statistics by a specific country. And if you're in the US or Canada, you can also filter down by state or province. Um, you can filter down by device, by uh, uh, aggregate them all by client or, or look up only by a single client. You can select a mailbox provider or browser. And actually, if you go into the plugin page, for this plugin, I've actually written out a little bit more information so that you can see what your possible values are and what you can expect to retrieve. I also show you um, again here how you should be entering in your API key. Um, one thing to note is that when you are performing any kind of statistics retrieval, um, they all require a start date. I'm gonna show you this in a second, but that has to be filled in. Everything else is completely optional and your dates in general need to be formatted like this with year first, four digit year, hyphen, two digit month, hyphen, two digit day. All right, so let me show you exactly where this would be done. This is just a page here. I'm going to create uh, as a test page a uh, repeating group and the type of content for this repeating group I'm just going to type in the word stat and I can pull up all of my different stat call options I'm going to go for global stat here this is going to be the just the most straightforward to show you and everything else pretty much works the exact same way all right so global stat is what our list is of and then for data source you're going to go to get data from an external API all right, and then I'll type in stat again, and this is where I define um, the source of my global stats list. So I want to pull from the global um, call here. And when you select that, and when you select the other ones too, you'll see fields that you can enter in to fine tune um, this search. So again, start date is required. Um, definitely have that in there. For the aggregation, you can type in day or week or month, okay? And it'll group the statistics, it'll group up the counts on all of those numbers by uh, either day, week, or month, right? And if you leave end date um, blank here, the default will just be the current date, um, or you can specify uh, a specific date if you'd like. So I'm gonna do from the beginning of this year, aggregated by month, and uh, we want to make sure that our list is of the stats. You can see that the other value available to us from this call is the date itself. So if I'm aggregating by month, it's gonna give me um, like the start of the month for that cell. And we're gonna use that in a second, but in this list here, we want to retrieve the stats. Okay, because this is a list of stats. We have our compatible type and then data source. So I'm going to add a text element to my cell here. This doesn't need to be so ginormous. Okay. 
So with this text element, we're going to do current cells, global stats, um, and here is where you can see all of the different metrics that are available to you. And with all of those other calls, the more advanced ones where you can do by mailbox provider or client, um, they will have, they might have a couple different ones, but overall these are the ones that you're looking at. Um, so let's do delivered. And we'll just type in the word delivered there because that'll be a number. This is a count on all of those um, emails that were delivered. And then we'll also do, let's do opens. And I'm going to do one more here. We'll do unique clicks. No, we'll do total clicks. Total clicks. But you saw that there is also a unique clicks. Um, and then to see which month this is in. I mean, it's going to be in order, but uh, to display the month that you're looking at. I'm going to clear this out. So I'm going to do another get data from external API because unfortunately the current stat itself doesn't also reference the date that it belongs to. So we have to call um, for that date one more time. So we'll do get stat and this will be the date. You just got to make sure that your parameters here match the overall um, repeating group parameters so that um, this pulls from the exact same number. So we're actually going to do, uh, sorry, this will be send grid stats global and then we want a specific date because this alone is going to give us a list of dates for all of our stats. So we'll do um, item number current sales index. Okay, that way it'll pull the date for this specific cell only. And then we want the date there. All right, so this is how we isolate. We're doing a call. It'll, by default, retrieve all um, dates. And then if we specify specific, <laughs> specify specific item number, it will just be for this cell. All right, so, but the other important thing here is that for this call, you do need to make sure that your parameters are the exact same, otherwise they'll be mismatched. Um, so this, oh no, I did do, I did month here. Um, and then the beginning of the year. Okay, now for the date, one last thing, I want to format it. Um, I don't need to see, it's going to give us like a 12 a.m. time, which is not really necessary for what we're looking at here. So I'm actually going to customize how this date is displayed. So I'm going to go to the custom uh, format type. Again, I think I kind of went through that a little bit fast. I'm going to remove that. So date, and then if you go to formatted as right here, and then we'll scroll at the very bottom, custom, and I'm going to get rid of all of these, and we're going to do uh, four M's to get the full month spelling, and then four Y's to get the year. All right, so you can see right there, that's how it'll look. Okay, so now I'm going to preview the page. And here we go. So you can see that my list is from the beginning of the year, January 2018, all the way to July, which is where we are right now. And um, my text is matched up, the date is matched up with this cell's statistic because we use the current cell's index number. And I've reformatted the date so that it just displays the month and the year. And to the left, I have my three text elements that are displaying the values for those three fields that came back. And if you have your debugger on and you click on inspect, you can actually click, you know, on one of your text elements to like evaluate how we got there. Uh, current cells global stat. Here's the entire stat for this one cell here. So these are all, you can see the 39 delivered, um, 312 opens, 40 processed, um, unique opens, things like that. Um, and you know, if you wanted to kind of investigate and uncover some of these values while you're on the page to figure out how you want to um, build your you know, reporting um, display for your users or even for yourself. So that's how that works. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. This is a plugin that I publish, so I'm happy to um, help you uh, set it up. And if there's anything that is weird, if you encounter any bugs, please let me know and I'll get right on it. Uh, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. Thanks so much for watching this video. Um, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel so you'll get notified every time I upload a new tutorial and keep up the good work with your apps.